We talk about last year, Brian talked about it. Um, it was, it was a very difficult campaign, but we got in the race late. We ran a very strong campaign for getting into it. It was actually June before we got up and going. We were predicted to win. Most of the pollsters had us ahead going into the election. But polls, of course, are based upon a voter turnout. And our voters didn't turn out. Democrats, independents of lean Democratic, stayed home in droves. So we lost a close race. Dan Benishek got a little over 51% of the vote. So um, we can win this race, folks. We can win this race. We can win Scott's race. We can make sure Debbie Stabenow is reelected and the president is reelected. But we've got to get out and work. We've got to, it's just a totally different atmosphere than it was a year ago. Dan Benishek, he said over and over again, first, first he was saying that Medicare and Social Security are disasters, get rid of them. He won the primary. And then he said he's going to protect them. He's going to save them. And one of the first votes that man made when he got to Washington, he voted for the Ryan budget that in effect eliminates Medicare and reduces Social Security. He, he's even said at a town hall meeting in Petoskey, when asked about it, his exact words are the Ryan budget will eventually eliminate Medicare and Social Security. Those are his words. It shifts the burden of Medicare onto the backs of our seniors. Right now, the estimate right now will be the average senior citizen will be paying $6,400 a year more for their health care. How are we going to afford that? At the same time, it's going to force you to go out and try to buy private insurance. Like my parents right now are in their 80s with their multiple medical issues. Who is going to insure them? What private insurance company is going to insure them? But at the same time, he said the reason he, they had to do this was to balance the budget, bring the deficit down. But they were going to lower the tax rate from already it's lowered to 35% for our wealthiest individuals down to 25% and continue to give big oil their subsidies and tax breaks that they're not right now enjoying on the backs of us. He also voted to end commercial air service in the airport, like right here in home. Can you imagine? With your economic growth here, your university, the smart zone that's going, bringing jobs here, if you do not have commercial air service. And this man claims to represent us. And those are the ones, some of the votes that he's just taken. He's defended his, his votes on the subsidies for big oil. And Petoskey at a town hall meeting, he said, big oil pays their fair share of taxes, needs their subsidies. At the same time, we are struggling just to fill our cars up to get to work. 